Hello everyone. Once again, welcome back to Roots Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'm going to do for you my favorite oxtail recipe. Hope you guys enjoy it. I took the liberty of washing my oxtail and pre-seasoning it for the mere reason I like to have my oxtail seasoned before cooking. But I'll let you guys know exactly the steps that I took, which is I soaked my oxtail with two teaspoons of salt in cold water for 20 minutes, followed by a thorough rinsing until the water is very clear. And then what I did, I seasoned with a little bit of black pepper, seasoned salt, half a teaspoon salt, and half a teaspoon black pepper. And just left it at a sit for a moment. So now, oxtail can be done in many different ways. Some people like to cook it on top of the stove, some people put it in the oven. Today I'm doing the top of the stove version. Some people also use brown lentil color the oxtail. I use sugar. I burn my sugar. So I'm going to show you guys the method in which I do it. That's my method. You don't have to follow this exact way of browning, but I prefer that. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of granulated sugar in a hot pot. I'm just going to let this sit there for a moment and you'll see how it's going to caramelize. So I'm going to put my soap a little bit. And for you guys who don't know what oxtail is, it's the tail of the cow. It's the most delicate part. It's our Caribbean gourmet part of the cow. So now you can see the sugar just started to melt away in here. It's going to be a few minutes before it gets to the exact color that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that nice golden brown color. And as the sugar burns, it will get to that. It will take a few minutes, but I'll achieve what I'm looking for. If you look in the pot, you can see it's starting to melt and it's just turning gold, a little bit of golden brown to the bottom. We just have to wait till it just gets a little more burnt before we put anything in there. And that's what's going to give my oxygen a beautiful, beautiful golden brown color that I'm trying to achieve here today. See, it's simmering on the side, it's just coming there. Very nice. Look at that, guys. Could you guys see? So, when it becomes really brown. We're just going to throw the oxid in there and we're going to cover and let it simmer for a little bit. Like I said, you don't have to do this version if you think you will achieve the right way or the right color. You go use the brownlin. There's a brownlin in the bottle you can use. Look at that now, guys. I'm achieving the color that I'm looking for. And with this little bit of sugar, two teaspoons, it's going to actually get all of this oxide very nice and brown. And you would see the end result, the beautiful color that I would achieve from that. So it's getting to the point now where I'm going to start preparing to put my oxide in there. Just show them in the pot. You guys see how the sugar is caramelizing. So what you do now is a minute, a minute, a minute or so more. You see, this is the color I'm trying to achieve, guys. It's nice and brown. So what you do now, you just you see, you put it off still in there like this. 
makes me have that nice brown color. Look at that two sides. Look at that nice brown color we get in here. You don't have to put any oil in here or any water for now. You just kind of let it make its own juices. Let it make its own juices. You see, you see that? Okay guys, just give me a second. I'll just let it simmer for a minute and we get back to you. Look at this my friends. You guys see how nice and brown this is? It's not too dark. You just have that nice golden brown color. It just you're just gonna saute this a little bit. You see here it's making its own juices in the bottom. I'm not one for putting a lot of water in my food because I like to keep that flavor in there. I don't like to wash with a good substance. So I usually make my oxtail make its own flavor its own juices. You see that? That's juices from the oxtail. And just imagine when you put your season in there, it's going to make its own season flavor and thing. So now here, what I have is some onions, some chopped onions, some scallions, some garlic, and some tomatoes. Also some scotch bonnet pepper. So in now, I'm going to throw in my garlic. I'm going to throw in a season, a matter of fact. The onions and garlics and scallion. I'm not going to throw the pe the, the um, tomato in as yet, and I'll leave the scallion behind. I didn't have any fresh um, thyme. I normally like fresh thyme, but I didn't have any on hand. So today I'm going to use some dry fresh thyme, and I'm just going to use a toss again. You can hear this sizzle, it's making all that juice in there. Nice brown color, not too dark, just perfect. So what I usually do is, I don't like putting cold water in my meats. So I have a little pot of water boiling here. I'm just going to throw in about two cups of that in here and leave my oxtail to simmer. Oxtail takes approximately two hours. This one is supposed to be soft cooking oxtail, quick cook, but um, it normally takes two hours. So we we'll leave this to cook for two hours. I'll use it to cook for two hours. And guys, I would see you in a moment after this is done to show you where we are. All right guys, it has been an hour and about 10 minutes since we started this dish. So let's go in and see what has been going on with it. Okay, as you can see, it's coming out nicely. It's drying down. Beautiful color in here. Or oh, you can smell all the flavors. Let's just see how this is going. Yep, it's getting soft. It's going to be about, a, about, an hour, about an, another. Sorry, it's going to be about an hour. I'm so sorry, guys. Just tasting this food just kind of had me all over the place. But it's going to be about another hour for this to be done. I just normally use a little bit of tomato paste as a thickening agent. So I'm going to put a little bit in here. It's going to help it thicken up. 
and gives also a little color and flavor. So we're gonna stir it around. As you guys can see, look, it's not too thin. It's look, it's not too thin. It's good liquid, good. It's thick enough there. And at this time, we're gonna throw a tomatoes in there. And that also helps thicken it a little bit. And I'm gonna put my whole hot pepper. It tastes really good, guys. We just have to leave it for the softening process. Looks really good. You can taste the seeds how easy there's enough flavor in there. Oh, enough salt and a little bit of pepper. You can just taste all the flavors in there. So we're gonna cover this bag and leave it for about another hour and it should be done in that space of time. See you guys shortly. So it's been an hour. Let's see what's going on with this. It should be done. Let's check it out and see. Oh my goodness, everything looks so, oops. It's falling off the bones. That tells me it is finished. It's finito. Oh, it looks very soft. Look at this, very soft, guys. And it looks delicious. And guys, as you can see how thick my sauce is, I use my tomato paste for my thickening agent. It also gives this a really nice flavor. But if you don't have this at home, you can use um, a little bit of flour as a thickening agent or some cornstarch. But I prefer to use the thickening paste. Okay guys, so this looks all good, it's all done. We turn our stove off at the moment. And we played this, we played this. Oh my goodness, I'm already hungry. Look at that, it's falling off the bones. Yum, yum. Ooh. This could be served with um, rice and peas, white rice, even some um, festivals or dumplings, even mashed potatoes. Guys, I'm gonna be having a feast tonight with this. I know my grandkids are gonna love this. My son, this is his favorite, favorite dish. So there we are. We have a final plate for the evening. My oxtail, Caribbean style, yummy. If you guys like what you've seen today, Give a thumbs up, comment, and surprise. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> and subscribe, guys. You guys know what I'm talking about. It was just a tongue twister. So guys, cheers to you guys. I'm out. See you again.